Hello and welcome to my review of the Olympus 9 to 18mm lens. It's a really small lens and it gives a really good wide angle view. But you have to extend it, so it's compressed and then you have to extend it. You can see here the autofocus is very snappy. So here we're looking at more of what the lens looks like fully extended and I'm fitting a lens that didn't come supplied with the lens. It's a third party lens as well because the Olympus one was too expensive. But I digress. Olympus, please put lens hoods in. So you can see fully extended, this is how it's set up to work. It doesn't work when it's retracted, it has to be fully extended. And it retracts to that size, which is really small and nimble. But the camera won't work when it's retracted, it says unlock the lens. You can see it's a full metal um, back on the rear, um, well built on the rear, but the rest of it, it is quite plasticky, but that does make it lightweight. So let's have a look at what the image quality looks like. So here I'm in a room and this is at the 9mm wide end. And I'm going to show you in a minute zooming into 18 so we can look at the zoom length it covers. It's not a great um, zoom length that it covers. In terms of full frame terms it's 18 to 36. So this is zoomed in right at the end. 36 millimeters, which really you wouldn't think was particu particularly um, telephoto, you'd think of it as quite wide actually. Um, but one of the strengths of this lens is the fact you can get everything in. So here I'm in a room, this is at 9 millimeters, 120, 125th of a second, um, 5.6 ISO 200. But it is a slow lens because of the high aperture. So you can see I've taken a picture here. And it hasn't exposed particularly well coming out of the camera. But when I do some editing, I can really draw back an awful lot of that detail. So with a bit of editing, you can really bring things out. But this was quite, quite a dark shot. And you're going to get that because it's a slow lens. And the lens really, although it's very wide, it starts at f4. And once you start zooming in, it goes down to 5.6. So... This is a comparison. This is my 17mm f1.8 lens. So what I've done is I've taken a shot at 17mm with this lens and then I've put the 9-18 to on and taken a shot at the same zoom range, 17mm. I've kept the, the shutter speeds the same. However, with the 17mm lens I can go down to f1.8 and I think I was at 5.6 approximately with um, the 9 to 18. But one of the benefits of the 9 to 18 is I can really zoom back and put it at 9 millimeters and get so much more in, which is great for when you're photographing buildings or rooms and stuff. Now I've done a comparison again with the 17 millimeter. Here we have the 9 to 18 at 17 millimeter at f5.6 um, outside. And outside is where it's gonna do really well because you get plenty of light. And here's the 17mm one with the same settings. So once you're getting down to 5.6, you're not really going to see a great deal of difference, or I can't see a great deal of difference. Um, it's more when you want a shallower depth of field or quicker shutter speed. But I'll talk about shutter speed in a moment. Here's how it handles flaring, and it doesn't handle flaring particularly well. We'll see in some later images it hasn't handled flaring particularly well. Flaring is an issue. Now with this shot, I shot straight into the sun, and I got a bit of flaring. However, I'm quite happy to report distortion seems okay. This is, the, this is at 9mm, 18 full frame equivalent, close up of a brick wall to look at some distortion. And zooming into 18mm, we can see that again there is little distortion. None of these images have um, had any correction for the distortion. Just talking about the images, I shot raw, I put them in Lightroom and I exported as JPEGs, resized with JPEG Mini to save a bit of space. But Lightroom doesn't do any adjustments of, of these images um, because they're Olympus. There's no lens correction. My understanding is Olympus lens correction occurs for JPEGs but doesn't occur for RAW. So this is one of the benefits of the lens. I'm, in a, I'm actually in a train cabin and I've managed to shoot the whole thing at 9mm. And again with editing, um, I've, I've really drawn some detail out of that image. You'll see looking out the window, you can see a bit of flaring and a bit of sort of light leaking. It's not. That's one of the downsides of the image. Where the lens really shines is photographing things where you really need a wide space. You'll see I'm in a room here in a, I think I'm in a show home. 
and I've taken a few images and I've shown you I'm showing you the edits as well and these these images are shot at very low shutter speeds because of the in in body camera stabilization that Olympus has so I've shot some of these images at one thirtieth of a second handheld and I've not got any blur which is amazing so while it is a slow lens it does really benefit being combined with the um, in body stabilization from Olympus cameras Panasonic cameras, if it doesn't have in-body stabilization, I think you'd have a bit of a problem. It's a slow shutter speed. You're either going to have to ramp up your ISO or you're going to have to suffer the sl slow shutter speed. Although I'm quite happy to um, for stationary objects because of in-body camera stabilization. So in summary, it is a great wide angle lens, but it's a slow wide angle lens. It's light, but it's plasticky. It's quite expensive as well. It's quite an expensive lens. I won't lie. Um, getting on for about 300, um, 300 pounds. I'm now not sure what that is in American after the EU referendum and our currency has gone a bit up and down. But I definitely would recommend it. It's so small, it fits in your pocket. And we, you know you can just take it anywhere, like with most Micro Four Thirds cameras. This is a de definite recommend to buy. I've done a lot of Micro Four Thirds videos, and if you like them, you can watch more here. And if you really enjoyed my videos, why don't you subscribe so that you can follow my adventures in Micro Four Thirds cameras and lenses and general adventures in photography. Thank you. Goodbye.